Hala Morgana told me what happened at the summit. I'm sorry that Master Sidoni is dead. She begged for death, and I gave it to her. I see. So Master Sidoni lost hope in the end. I wish it had ended differently, but I'm sure you did what you felt was right. Alam also reports that while you were unable to prevent a war, you stopped Sidoni before the damage became irreparable. Commendable work, Jedi. Master Sidoni certainly didn't make it easy. This plague has such a devastating effect on even the most capable Jedi. Tell me, did you learn anything new about the Plague Master, Lord Vivacar? She told me he was in her head, influencing her actions. I see. Master Sidoni was the last of the Lost Masters, and yet Vivacar still eludes us. Return to us here on Tython immediately, and we will discuss what you have learned. Lord Vivacar cannot remain hidden forever. You summoned me, Master Seal. Welcome home. I wish we could greet you with better news. Despite using every avenue available to us, we are no closer to finding Lord Vivicar. Actually, I believe we are. A common thread binds all the plague victims. The loss of Parcanus Tark at Malachor III. Vivicar's influence forced the sick masters to relive their failures on Malachor. This is revenge. Personal revenge. Only one man would have that much anger and pain. The man who was left behind. I believe Lord Vivicar is Parcanus Tark. Jedi, Parcanus is dead. Far from it, Jarek. Yuan? I told those Padawans to keep an eye on you. You must rest. No. My pupil, my fellow Jedi, deserves to hear the truth about Malachor. What have you been hiding? Malachor III isn't just strong in the dark side. The planet is the resting place of the Sith Lord, Terak Moraj. Our work on Malachor woke Moraj's spirit. One by one we fell under his power. The things we did still haunt me. What happened to Parcanus Tark? Parcanus was the youngest and weakest. We had to abandon him to Malachor's darkness. His sacrifice allowed the rest of us to escape. But it seems he survived and has taken Moraj's dark path. Why did you keep this a secret? I wasn't eager to tell my greatest student about my worst failure. I must make amends. I have a plan to help you find Vivicar. If the plague created a link between my mind and his, your shielding ability may allow me to use that link to find him. No. You're already weak from the plague, Yuan. This could kill you. I suppose there's little choice in the matter. He's right. We must prevent this plague spreading further. <laughs> Very well, Yuan. But we will monitor the ritual, and your former Padawan must stay at your side. Thank you, Sio. I will go to the meditation chamber to prepare. Please meet me there when you're ready. Thank you for coming. I have made all the preparations for the ritual to find Lord Vivica. I plan to create a connection between us, using your shielding ability. If it is, was, Parcanus, this should work. Drawing on your strength, I will invert the link between myself and Vivicar and use it to sense his location. I don't like the idea of being used as a crutch. There are risks. For one, the shielding you gave me on Coruscant will be severed. I don't know what will happen then. It's possible I could die once your shield is gone. If that happens, we'll never find Vivicar. Then let's hope I survive, Jedi. No matter what happens, you must give me as much time as possible. Reversing the link may be a long process. Let us begin. Yes, yes, it's working. I can feel his mind and... I, I, I can feel I... She can feel the power that she's challenging. There is no hope. Jedi, you don't look as strong as you did last time we spoke. Yuan has drained your strength and made herself vulnerable to me. Still arrogant and reckless. You can't possibly fathom how much I will enjoy destroying you. No, Jedi. Your interference ends here and now. See how Yuan's will crumbles before mine. Fitting that two of my enemies will destroy each other. It... 
It worked. Listen, Lord Vivica, he's out in deep space on some sort of vessel. Here, take the coordinates. He surrounded himself with defenses. Send this. It's his code. It will give you time to get aboard. No, the darkness. Vivica's will is too strong. I... I can't hold on. Please, kill me. End it now. I am obedient, Master Yuan. May the Force protect you. Don't you care about anybody? We've been monitoring events in the meditation chamber. Please return to the council at once. The ritual was a success. Lord Vivicar is out in uncharted space, but he knows I'm coming. Now only your shielding talent can stop him. When darkness overcame Yuan, you had the will to do what was necessary. Lord Vivicar will have made preparations, and he still has his greatest weapon, the plague. If that's his best weapon, he'll get a shock if he tries to use it on me. Go to the coordinates quickly, before Vivicar strikes back. And Jedi, may the Force be with you. Ah. I wasn't sure if you'd be foolish enough to come aboard, Jedi. But I can sense your presence. Let's see if you handle a lightsaber as well as you talk. There is darkness surrounding you. It's meager compared to mine. Come to me, Jedi. Stand in the shadow of Malachor if you can. Tell me, Jedi. What was it like when you struck down a master of your own order? Was it as you imagined? You can't hide behind your minions forever, Vivicar. I will find you. And then what? The battle is already fought, and I have won. You will understand soon, if you live that long. Your power and tactics have got you this far, Jedi, but no further. This battle was decided before you stepped aboard. There's nowhere left to run, Vivicar, and no more lackeys to do your fighting. They've served their purpose, delaying you. My plague isn't just a disease. It siphons power from its victims. With the proper rituals, that power can be channeled. Soon, the combined strength of your masters will make me the most powerful Force adept who has ever lived. If you love the Force so much, prepare to become one with it. You can't defeat me, Jedi. This face, this Vivica. He is just another skin to be shed. Parcanus offered himself to me on Malachor III to crush the order that destroyed us. He embodied my spirit. I am no lost Jedi, no ordinary Sith Lord. I am Terak Morage. Call yourself whatever you like. You'll die the same way. No one can oppose me. I am beyond flesh, beyond death. I will crush you, Jedi, and your shattered body will fuel my rebirth! Thank you.
impressive, Jedi. You might even have triumphed, but my victory is already complete. My plague has spread farther than you can imagine. Jedi Masters across the galaxy are succumbing to it as I speak. The plague binds these Masters to me. Hundreds of them. The heart and soul of your order. I don't care about your plague anymore. It's over for you. Ah, yes. Strike now. Kill me, and you will kill every master I have ever infected. Everyone. Shielded or not, they are still bound to me. But what choice do you have? You cannot let me live, and I am deathless. Your shielding talent cannot harm me. You've lost. Your mistake is thinking I care who dies. We felt it. A massive shift in the Force. We have reports from across the galaxy. Dozens of Masters have died from the plague. Maybe hundreds. If Terek Morridge's plan had succeeded, the entire Order could have been wiped out. Morridge? So this threat was even greater than we knew. Thank you for all you have done. The Jedi Order owes its survival to you. Please, return to us on Tython. We wish to thank you in person. And we have a special reward for you. We've been awaiting your return. Please, step forward. Thanks to you, the shadow of the plague has been lifted from the Order. There's a title reserved for the most prestigious among us, whose wisdom and skill safeguard the galaxy. It hasn't been bestowed in thousands of years. There were objections, given your methods, but we must acknowledge the debt we owe. Therefore, we name you Barsenthor, Warden of the Order. How will I ever repay such generosity? No, no, there is no need. You have earned this honor. And not a moment too soon. We have need of you. We have received word that the Republic is facing a new threat. I'll destroy anything and everything that threatens the Republic. We need time to prepare a war council. The Supreme Chancellor himself will be attending. Take time to rest. And you should record your journey in the Jedi Archives. History must know of your actions. Return to us when you feel ready. For now, the entire Order will know there is a new Barsenthor among us. Honors are nice, but I'd like something I can spend. Svetod, Tramis. Nagagor Aryak. 